You're looking at the exhaust manifolds. So what's happening, today's Wednesday. On Saturday, my truck is going in to have the exhaust done. I have since the new motor, I have put on 1,298 kilometers. I've gone over my 1,000 mark, so it's broken in. So that means that I can now install the new headers. The reason I didn't put them in was because they're uh, ceramic, metallic, coated, something like that. And basically, if I install them before the motor's broken in, then they're going to discolor and they're no longer warranted. So. That's with the window open. next time it runs will be with a little bit different configuration of exhaust. The nice thing about being the last guy who put these manifolds on, look how easy they come loose. What do you know? And what? What is that? Huh, the bolts are so clean. They were all oiled before they were put in, so everything was... Uh, coming apart like a dream. That would definitely make this job easier than somebody who had never pulled off their manifolds before because they would have rusted on solid. So since I've cracked them all loose, I'm going to go ahead and get all the nuts off. This is the tricky side because I've got the steering shaft in the way there. So I've got like two tight bolts, but if we go over to the passenger side, there's a lot more room to work, so I figure I'll save the easy for last. I'm doing this kind of backwards. I'm going to unbolt the manifolds, probably all but one. I'll just leave it so it hangs. And then I'll go underneath and unbolt everything else, and then pull these down the last thing I do. So that's the plan. You've got out all the bolts except for one on each manifold. And i got a, my helpful volunteer, my brother. Is Anal beads. Oh, <laughs> ruining my video. No, that's funny. He's pulling the flanges apart from the Y pipe to the manifold, and he's already dropped the muffler and the cat, which were temporarily bolted in just for functional use. Uh, so it's getting too dark, but uh, we're going to try to mount one or two of these things, and then I will start it tomorrow. He should start it tonight. I don't know if you've heard it. It's too late to start it tonight. Yeah, it's never too late. I'm in a neighborhood. If I was in the county, it'd be a different story. Never too late. I'd like the tires on fire and I'd do burnout. But still do that here. I did that here. Yeah, neighbors would complain, so. Nice and dark, eh? Mm hmm. The old header was a pain to get out. Ended up breaking the knock sensor down here. But then uh, the new header just slipped right in. And it's actually in two pieces so it already is bent to go around the steering shaft don't have to take anything apart so so far all I did was pull spark plugs on this side and this is supposedly the more complicated side so now I'm gonna go ahead and struggle with the f gasket and uh, try to get that into place while I bolt up the header It was really helpful with that light up there. Okay, it's going back up. Perfect. I can actually sort of see what I'm doing. Controlling motor? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It works, like I said. It sure looks like a beast. I'm going to paint it. Somebody paint it black. I'll shut these lights off for now. They'll go the other way. There we go. On the passenger side, it came out really, really easy. But to put the new header in, my dad fought with it literally all day, and it. Uh, 
It was difficult as all hell. <clears throat> but the passenger side, when I popped that one in, it went in. It was a joke to get in. It was harder to get the old one out. So it's kind of funny how it changes like that. So right now. One and two, and we're gonna drive this thing off the ramps and uh, hear some noise. Out in here. Get the well, today's the day the exhaust gets welded up and bent and put on. So I got a flatbed to tow it. Because right now it's just open headers. That way. I don't know, he must know a way I don't know. This is my blazer now with the stainless steel exhaust. Um, out of the headers. Went with 3 inch to a true Y pipe, fed into a 3 inch cat inlet, a 3 inch outlet on the cat, went into a 3 inch inlet on the muffler, and a 2.5 inch outlet for the tailpipe, and a 2.5 inch tailpipe right to the end. And I've got all stainless steel, everything. And the best part of it all is because I need an e-test, I have to have a cat. Well, some people say use a high flow cat, yada yada yada. Well, I've got the solution. Right now, sitting in the back of my truck is the piece already built with flanges out of stainless that bolts into place exactly where my cat is sitting. So, I get my e-test, I undo four bolts, the old switcheroo, and then I'm good to go until two years later when I need another e-test, and then my cat will never go bad. I guess it could eventually go bad, but it'll just take a very long time. I want to get on the gas here so you, can get, so you guys can really hear what it sounds like. Ignore that, that's the old exhaust rolling around in the back. I'm really enjoying the sound. I think it sounds great for a six cylinder. Nice and quiet when I'm at uh, when I'm when I'm going on the expressway or anything like that where it's 100. It's nice and quiet. You don't hear much of a rumble at all inside the truck. So it should be uh, tolerable for long trips, which is great. It's not going to be irritating. <laughs> 